What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie here at the Slovakian Expo Pavilion here in Dubai because look at this baby, ready? You've never seen this before, I promise you. I have never seen this before until a few minutes ago. Here we go, here we go. Look at this. Hey, what do you reckon? How nice is this? Guys, this is the very first hydrogen powered car by Matador. I'm gonna explain who Matador is a little bit later. First things first, look right here. This is so cool. Guys, look, hydrogen tanks down here. So you've got these babies right here that actually power the car. And then this is like cooling for these tanks. These guys have been working on this technology for 15 years. Right, we'll come back to that. Let me show you some cool stuff right here. Check this out. MH2, that's the name of the car. The official name is Metal Hydrid 2 or you can just say it stands for Matador Hydrid 2. All right, this is where you'd actually refuel. So the hydrogen goes in there. Now, what's the benefit of having a hydrogen powered car? It's completely emissions free. And also it's gonna be super quick to refuel. So you just literally go into that tank, refuel with hydrogen, off you go. It's not like a recharging a battery, which as you and I know, can take a lot longer. Right, look at this. I absolutely love this. My favorite feature on the car. Look at this front windshield. It goes all the way across. This is three meter long piece of glass. And it's so special that they actually had to get a helicopter manufacturer out of Germany to do this. Just look how I've, I've never seen glass come all the way from the back down to the front here. This is so cool. You've got the carbon fiber detailing here. Now let's turn some lights on. We love lights. Here we go. Ooh. So this is all crystal. These are all crystals. And I'm going to show you in the back as well. Super cool. Off, on. The main idea of this car is to look like an athlete on the starting block. So you know how they're always kind of like leaning forward, ready to go? It's like that, it's about to pounce into action. You've got the skin, right, of the athlete, and you've got the bones exposed here as well. And then you've got the backbone running straight through the middle of the car. And then, of course, the wheels. Look how cool they look. Love this. So we're seeing more of this design on cars uh, coming out because of course, the more of the wheel you cover, the more aerodynamic it is. They've made these kind of slats here. This is for the air intake to the, cool the brakes, but they're almost like design slats. You can't even see really that this is actually for air intake, can you? It's really subtle. I really like the design of this wheel. Very, very cool. When you're looking at this car from the back, you know exactly that it's a matador. So here are the lights they came up with. Check that out. This is like your little light dance when you turn on the car, right? And then, look at this. Love how it runs all the way across. That's your indicator. And all of these are little crystal pieces, which is quite cool. Very cool. And then, if you do this, dynamic mode. Check this out, guys. I've never seen this before. If you're at a certain angle, like here, look at this. It actually flickers like a candle. Like candlelight. I love that. I've never seen that before. You guys are just gonna have to see this in real life. If you're in Dubai, you're planning to come down, come to the Slovakian Pavilion because this is where you can see it in real life. I've actually never seen that before. That is so cool. Then of course, you've got this huge rear diffuser. So beautiful. I mean, it just has such an impact in the back of the car here. All carbon fiber. You can see straight through to the tire as well, which is a really cool feature. Love that. Straight through very thick tires and where else you can actually see the tire through here as well all of these little design features that i really appreciate and of course you've got the side cameras now as well not just normal side view mirrors right let's get in shall we let's do it here we go 
So it's kind of hidden underneath here. Grab this. Now guys, this is a concept car for now. What they want to do is just display their capabilities as Matador, because Matador has actually been in the automotive industry for over a hundred years out of Slovakia. And they started off with manufacturing tires and now they actually provide a whole heap of automotive parts to various automotive manufacturers around the world, like VW Group. So they're like, right, I wanna display all of the knowledge, all of the experience we've had over a hundred years and put it into our own supercar. So this is their very first supercar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, I just love being able to see all the way down there. You can see all the way to the road in front of you. Let me just take you with me. Here we go. Look at this, all the way down. I think that is such a cool feature. And then all the way up here, see straight out the top. So cool. And then you've just got this one panel running down the center that controls everything. And of course you've got your cool yoke steering wheel and the boost button. Everyone needs a boost button on the steering wheel. <laughs> I love that. So the stats for now are zero to 100 in about four seconds. It has about 600 horsepower, range about 600 kilometers, and top speed 250 kilometers an hour. Hi. Come join me. Hi, Who's Stefan, you. everyone? Kind Hello. of a big deal at Matador, aren't you? <laughs> I don't think He's so like, no, I'm not. Don't say that. No, so no. I had to say it. I'm representing 3,000 people, more or less. So I think we are all big deals. <laughs> we He's are the big trying deal. to do uh, well. That's crazy, man. Thank you so much for showing us this car. Why did you guys say, okay, we want to come up with a hydrogen powered car? And we wanted to showcase basically the capabilities of our group in this very car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so why hydrogen? Well, we see it as a sustainable source of energy. Right. And, you know, for us, it's, it is the mega trend that we and everyone should look at because, you know, now I would say the electric powered cars are more or less, it's a not breakthrough idea anymore. Right. And we believe that uh, hydrogen is something to, to discover in more detail. Is this just a prop? Or are we looking at something that actually physically works, this technology? This technology was supplied by a technical university in Slovakia. Yes. And this uh, is working. And so this is all tried technology. This is working. Yes, if you put this working. in a car today, it yeah. would work. It would work, but still is this in the prototype phase. Right. I have to say that we need to a little bit further in order to put it into the serial production. This has taken a long time to come up with this kind of technology. Yes, sure, and it will take, I think, further time to, to put it into the serial production, but basically the group, together with the universities in Slovakia, is able to develop and basically create mm. and manufacture such a car. But I have to say, we as Matador wanted mainly to showcase what we are capable of. What you of. could do. You can actually create hydrogen sustainably. Yeah, All right, there you go, Stefan from Matador. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk to the head designer now, Branjo. My favorite part, I have to say, is the windscreen. It's amazing how it comes all the way down. What, where did this idea come from? Well, you know, basically, this glass surface was for us very important because you can see a lot through this glass. Right. Actually, you can see in the front of the car. Yeah, all the way to the road, exactly. right? Exactly. Which is it's very unusual. Yeah, honestly. Right. It's like a go-kart yeah. or something like that. So it was for us very important. And it's one unique piece, Yeah. really long piece, you know, three meters long. So that's why we are thinking like, okay, we can, we can show the airflow really nice in this way. All right, the other thing is, okay, um, I've talked a little bit about your design inspiration, mm -hmm. but I also see water. There's water here in canisters, so there's got to be some kind of water inspiration that I haven't talked about yet. Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay, good. Water was the inspiration not only for the shapes, Yeah. we study a lot the forms on the water, right. but also the color. As you can see, yes. the color is inspired by the water. You know, so everything is somehow connected and linked to the water. Right, hydrogen, water, etc. Exactly. Okay, so you've got a lot of inspiration. Can we just can we just sum this up? You've got water, you've got the athlete, and you've also got the teardrop. So exactly. you just thought of all those things and then boom, put them all together and bam, you came up with this. Basically, yes. And the body of the athlete... It sounds easy, doesn't it? But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the body of the athlete was also important for us. Because right. Because you know, on the body of the athlete, you have you have you know the material only there where the performance is coming from. Right. And then you can take out material where you don't need it actually. So, Same. for example, like a swimmer, 
they have huge shoulders, right? So they have huge muscles up here and then everything, like their waist is slimmer. In fact, and then, I so so that's the same thing you've done here. Absolutely. Is you only provide bulk where you need it and then you slim down. Absolutely, exactly. We've got it. I think I can be a, a, a world-class car designer. Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you too. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. This has been so awesome. I hope to see more like hydrogen powered cars in the future. Massive thank you to Matador for showing us around. You guys rock. I hope you like the vid. Love ya, I'm out.